Hello, everyone. This is Nicholas P. Ugero, and today I have the honor of uh, having Nico Zabalza on my channel today, the, one of the owners of Black Lotus She Legit LLC. Thank you so much for coming on. How are you doing? I'm doing excellent, man. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Appreciate yeah, not a, not a problem at all. I appreciate you uh, showing interest in coming on here. I, I definitely appreciate it. Um, for people that aren't aware of Black Lotus LLC, um, if you just want to give a brief introduction of yourself and also your business. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm Nico. Um, me and my best friend Christian have owned Black Lotus for two and a half years. We we founded it and it's something we really are passionate about. We both are very much into health and we worked at the same health food store for many years and we got into organic food together and exercising and stuff. So just kind of fit into our life perfectly. And yeah, we, we've had amazing testimonials, results with it, and we, we know what it is, what it does. And that's why we're we're so happy to, to be able to share it. Awesome. So, um, so for people that aren't aware, what, what is she legit? So <laughs> she legit is a black resin <clears throat> that comes out of mountains at super high elevations. Uh, it's been used for thousands of years, uh, through many different cultures in the world, uh, especially Ayurvedic Chinese and, um, like shamanic medicines and Essentially, it is uh, minerals, organic matter, fossils, um, crystals, rocks, and sediments that went through many geothermal and biochemical processes within the mountains as they formed. Um, we get ours from the Altai Mountains, which are some of the oldest mountains in the world. They're one and a half billion years old. And they the Shilajit comes out of the tops of the mountains. Um, it actually splits the rocks at the tops because of the pressure that builds up inside the mountain um, as they grow. And it was found because uh, villagers would see monkeys and goats climbing to the tops of the Himalayan mountains to, to eat it. And so that's how they started um, trying it out and incorporating it into their, their life and stuff. And um, Shilajit in Sanskrit means stone breaker, uh, which it actually like splits the rocks and starts oozing out of the, the cracks inside of them. Um, they call it mountain sweat or mountain blood. And yeah, it, it takes millions, if not hundreds of millions of years to form. And yeah, it's just a, a very special gift from the earth that the, which has many, many minerals, amino acids, vitamins, and rare antioxidants, which really help our health in general. And, you know, we're made of all these different minerals and things. And so is the earth where we come from. So that that's kind of the, the basis of it. You just dissolve it in water and drink it. And it, yeah, it really blesses, it blesses you. <laughs> wow. It's fantastic. Just from their observation of animals going up there, they were, they're like, what is, what are they, what's so attractive? What's so attractive that they're going up all the way to the top of the mountain for that. That's right. fantastic. Um, so what about, um, cause I know I've read like the back of the label, it's got like humic acid also, doesn't it? Yes. So, um, so, so what are the benefits of, like, of humic acid? Yeah. So what two of the main components it has is humic and fulvic acid. And we, we lab test each batch for, um, to see how much it has. And, Ours has some of the highest that we found, but most Shilajit has a very good amount. Um, fulvic acid is a very rare form of carbon, which is impossible to recreate in a lab. Um, it's essentially a super powerful antioxidant with a very powerful ionic charge. So what it does is kind of neutralize any um, cells that have issues or have died and have waste. Um, and change their electric charge uh, to be like killing other cells in the body. So it neutralizes that and in, in the body, um, as well as kind of opening the, the cell walls and allowing minerals in uh, while pulling the waste out. So it acts kind of like a sponge in the body to where if you're detoxing, um, it'll pull all the toxins and take them out through your excretory systems. And the humic acid is a very powerful um, immune booster and um, antiviral agent, which um, is found mostly in forest floors. Um, so like in the soil, 
um, a lot of there's a lot of humus or um, humic acid, and that's to me it, it's kind of like how shilajit tastes. It's kind of like how the soil in a forest smells after it rains um, because it has so much of those those minerals. And the shilajit is jet black, and one of the reasons is is because of the antioxidants um, and all of the iron. But the antioxidants usually make things darker, like blueberries or blackberries. Um, things that are like very bright. And yeah, so Shilaji has high amounts of, of both of those, which, which are both super, super beneficial for our health and very difficult to get in any other, from any other substance on the planet. Wow, that's excellent. Um, so, um, so for, for taking it, is it just putting it in water and letting it dissolve? Or can you put it in juice? Or can you just take it straight and just put it under your tongue or anything like that? Yeah, so there's there's different ways to do it. You can you can put it under your tongue if you're brave. <laughs> it has a very, very, very strong taste. Um, in water, it's it's not bad at all. Like if you were to mix it in about this much water, you could just shoot it down and it wouldn't taste that bad. Um, or it wouldn't taste bad. It just kind of tastes like soil almost. And yeah, you can also mix it um, with a little bit of water, put it on your skin and it'll actually absorb the, the exact same way. Um, it doesn't have to go through your stomach uh, because it is so extremely absorbable and the fulvic acid opens your cell walls. Um, but we also have a glycerin tincture, which um, we created. Um, so it's already pre-diluted and you just pump it or we're getting rid of the pumps, but we'll have a dropper. So you'll just drop it in your water and it's a little bit easier than having to scrape out the resin out of the jar and then dissolve it. Some people don't like the, the stickiness or, or the don't have time. Um, but yeah, essentially you just put it in, in a little bit of water. If it's cold, it won't dissolve too fast. If it's warm, it'll dissolve faster. Um, you can put it in juice, but it'll just take a little bit longer to dissolve. And um, I usually put the glycerin in, in raw milk. Um, that's like a traditional Ayurvedic method. And yeah, for me, it works. It works great. So there's many different ways you could do it. Just kind of your, your personal preference. But water, warm water is definitely the easiest to dissolve in. Fantastic. So when you're talking about like the humic and the fulvic acid and all that stuff, um, what and you're saying how it helps with detoxing, mm -hmm. what other what other benefits can people uh, that people that don't, that don't know about it, like what, what can it help with? Can it help with your, your brain or anything like that? Yeah. So it can help with, with a wide variety of different things. And we've had people, yeah, experience all kinds of benefits. The main ones I would say are a uh, cellular energy. So it feeds the mitochondria in the body. And so it really helps the, the ATP cycle to have kind of like a reserves of energy. So when you need to do something, you you don't feel lazy, essentially. Um, when, yeah, when you take it, you also will feel your, your skin will be smoother, tighter, nicer. It'll tone. It tones the body. Um, it remineralizes the, the bones, the teeth, um, the yeah, other systems. And because it has so many minerals, it really is good for all the organs. Um, because we really need those minerals for them to function properly and it has so many trace minerals which 90 percent of people are mineral deficient and will almost never get some of these minerals that are in here from from their diet or any supplements um so it can help with a wide variety of things because of that uh, people have had like their hair grow back um like totally and white hair has turned black even like and 60 year old men's like leg hair started coming back black. Um, one of our biggest uh, wholesale accounts, he started, he bought one at an event one time. And the next day he bought, he bought like a couple cases because it cured his erectile dysfunction overnight. And he was like, I got to get more of that and share it. So yeah, um, for athletes, it's extremely good for building muscle and there's clinical studies on that. Um, it's great for the joints, ligaments, um, hair, skin, and nails, just for the minerals, for your, for your eyesight. Um, there's just so many, so many different things. It's helpful, like diabetes, 
um, viruses, obviously like immune, immune boosting, um, then like your digestion, it really helps with ulcers, any burns on your skin. Um, it really increase like in Russia, they give it out in pharmacies with, with, um, burn cream to help, uh, make it much faster, uh, can help with, with broken bones for obesity helps with addictions. Um, because your body constantly craves these minerals for your organs. And if you don't have them, it'll try to get them from sugar or from, um, fat. So or oils, and it really helps to minimize those cravings. Um, yeah. And there's, there's many, many different things. So it, it's just crazy how this, how the substance just has a myriad of all these benefits to it. And it's, it's really just as simple as just taking like a, what is it like a pea size yeah, exactly. amount? Pea yeah. Size. And then you just put it in the water and you just let it dissolve and you drink it and you're getting all these, uh, benefits from it. It's just fantastic. And it's, it's just really, it just really hits home or it like drives the point that just nature can just do it so much better than we can do it. Like if, like you were saying, like, it's impossible to, to recreate this right. in a lab. So, which is fantastic. Thank God they aren't doing that or <laughs> yeah. trying to do that. But it, it's just, I mean, we got to try to work with nature as best we can. And that's, that's exactly why we're kind of in this mess that we're doing right now that we're in right now. It's because we're just so far removed from that type mm -hmm. of, uh, just the, the mindset and the lifestyle and just the things that they used to take and the things that they used to harness. And we're just not doing it in that mm -hmm. sense. And, um, we're, yeah, we're just so far removed from that. So, um, and, and then on your website, I'm going to see if I can share my screen really quick. Um, uh, let's see window entire screen. Uh, let's see if it's going to go. There we go. So on your website, um, it's got, uh, lab results. So, so are these, so this is you guys specifically sending out your legit, or is this also kind of just, um, generalized, uh, mm -hmm. research as well? So it, um, they lab test it in Russia before we get it and we, we get those results, but we compare it to, to our results, um, which we send out here in the U S. So as soon as we get like a batch, um, we send it to IAS labs in, in Arizona and they, they lab test it for us. They tell us, um, how much humic acid, fulvic acid, uh, and then the moisture. And we also have a heavy metals test, which will be on, on our new website, which is launching, um, in a few weeks. So I'm very excited that for some reason they haven't popped up on this website and I'm we're not techie at all. So we're, we're having a whole new one made and I'm super excited about it. Fantastic. Um, so yeah, I just want to ask you about the website then. So since you guys aren't technically savvy, uh, how did you guys make the website? Was it from like a third party or? Yeah, it was a, it was a friend of ours who, who made it for us and, um, she just didn't keep doing it and we lost touch with her. So we just left it as it is, but are making like a much more professional one right now. And yeah, it's, it's been, it's been a couple months in the making and I'm so excited for it, for it to launch. We're going to have all new, uh, packaging and labels or not packaging, but just the, the design and yeah, it's going to be as professional as it can be. So I'm, I'm very excited and it'll be much, um, more transparent with the lab tests. But if, if anyone ever needs them, I'll email them to you you just got to ask and they are i'm pretty sure they are on our instagram wow okay so i'm, I'm just i find it funny how you're like oh we're, we're making a much more professional one i think this one looks fantastic already so yeah. no, i can't I'm wait to see what the new one looks. but uh, the, the the next one is definitely next level i'm i'm, I'm super excited nice is she legit for gardening huh i didn't realize yeah so just just how it's great for for us it's also great for the plants for animals as well. You can give it to your pets. It's great for their skin, for their joints, for their digestion, um, for their immunity. Um, and for gardening, it's excellent for the soil to build the minerals in the soil, the pH. Um, people use it as a foliar spray on, on the leaves to absorb nutrients, kill pests, get rid of mold, um, help uh, retain more minerals and water inside the plant. 
Wow. Okay. So yeah, because I'm I'm big into gardening. So for me, I just just seeing that right away just piqued my interest. So yeah. So you're gonna. So for me, I would if I wanted to do like a foliar spray, obviously just put in water and then just let it dissolve, and then from there I just spray it. Yeah, we recommend a little a little smaller size than than you would take. So a little smaller than a pea and Perfect. about a gallon of water. And that's a perfect amount to to boost the plants. And I, wow. I have a big, big like permaculture food forest in my yard. And I would always give the extra to them. And our mulberry tree would go absolutely crazy. <laughs> like there would be like actually thousands of berries every wow. year. Wow. OK. Yeah. Wow, that's excellent. So yeah, so you use even less of an amount and then you put it into a gallon of water. So that's going to be yeah. the cost effectiveness of that is just insane so i was thinking it was going to take a lot more for you to for do, to do that type of thing but it's even less so that's that's excellent so i'm totally gonna to be doing that this year i'm very excited for that yeah man oh, and wow. the, the food you'll have will have more minerals too so it'll be excellent yeah so so you can also um so with that kind of if i were to put in like a sprayer i can also just put it onto the soil itself too so that it goes into that yeah yep okay. you can put it directly in the soil just as much as you would like normally water with with a fertilizer um, so just like maybe a couple cups, depending on the plant, I would put a pretty good amount on the trees, but littler plants, they don't, they don't need that much. Awesome. I'm very excited for that. Holy cow. Um, so for your, your company, um, what, so what, if you want to give like a brief description of what you were doing beforehand and what got you into doing this, and maybe if you wanted to go through some of like the, the processes of creating the company in itself. So for people that aren't aware of that kind of process. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So um, for many years, I, I studied alternative medicine and I worked at a health food store. And um, so that's, it was kind of my passion. And I, I lost over 150 pounds at one point. Because, um, yeah, I just was very unhealthy. And then I realized what health was. And so it worked out so well for me that I just became very passionate about it. And trying to teach people that it's it's pretty simple it's not easy but it is simple and yeah so that's how i got into into health um with my business partner christian we his mom actually uh she's polish and she she's from a little village and she would she taught us about organic food and luckily he always ate very very well and then when we were about 19 we started eat like going to the health food store buying organic food and then we both got a job there. And then um, a couple years after that, I I got married. I, w I had my own business with my ex-wife and we made different products um, for meditation enhancement and for health. And we, we had, or uh, she got very, very sick. And I had known about Shilaji. I had tried it a couple of times before and um, Christian, my business partner had told me to try the resin because we had only tried the, the freeze dried powder, which doesn't work for some reason. Um, and then I got a big amount to, for, to try and to sell and for her to, to see how it would make her feel. And she got better in a week. And so we started selling it and it went really well. And then, as I was running out, I thought to make it its own entity since there's a huge lack for it here in the United States, since it mainly forms in Asia, uh, or yeah, mainly in Asia and Russia and the Himalayan mountains and India, Tibet. And so they're like, they didn't have any resins at the health food store um, where I worked at or any health food store I had been to. And so that was kind of my, my idea. And I asked Christian if, if he wanted to to invest and to to be partners and he was more than happy to and so it was two and a half years ago and we we just bought like 10 kilograms of Sheila G, <laughs> bought a ton of Myron glass, um, which is a patented um, black violet glass from from Norway. Um, it only allows the highest spectrum ultraviolet light inside so it actually enhances whatever is is in there and never it never degrades um it's really really cool and yeah then we we started the llc um we got 
we got a website, you know, Instagram, we started going to local markets, started going to all the, the health food stores we knew of to try to get them to, to wholesale it. And yeah, it's, it's been, it's been going good. We've, it's been a, a huge learning process. It's, it's a lot to, um, to do and to, to keep, to keep on being passionate about, but it's something that like every day we get amazing testimonials. So it just kind of keeps us happy to, to keep on doing it. And I mean, for me, like, I, I really have noticed the benefits of it in the last couple of years. I take it every single day. Um, and I feel, I feel fantastic. I, I, I really, people do tell me that they feel when they don't take it. So I'm, I'm very passionate about people taking it and knowing about it because not even many people know about it. And that was the main thing. So for two years, we've been just mainly educating people and everyone that comes to the booth or at our events, like, I don't, I don't care if they buy it. I just want them to know what Sheila Jeet is and that it exists. They don't like, cause most people don't. And it's such a unique and rare and special thing that just the earth just exudes out of its mountains. So it, yeah, I, I've always been passionate about sharing and yeah, so that's, that's how we got into it. And it's been a process ever since, but right now we're, we're taking it to the next level with the website and getting into bigger wholesale accounts and more and more people. It's kind of tri finally like snowballing where people recognize our brand and um, see that we've been having a clean product for many years now. So I'm excited to to see where it, where it takes us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. And and it was just um, I think just earlier this year when I first found out about She Legit. Um, there's this company or this farm close by. It's like in Algonquin, Illinois, and it's all grass farms. So they have they have raw milk and all that stuff. So it's it's funny that you mentioned putting the She Legit in, into that. And um, they had a sign for this one company, Organic Roots, with a Roots with a Z. And mm -hmm. so it was right down the street. So we went down over there and I was just checking it out. I was like, oh, this is really interesting, everything. And then I see in the fridge, there's like royal jelly and also she legit. And I was like, okay, what the heck is this? And so I was looking at it and saying how it has all these minerals in it. I'm thinking to myself, this is crazy. So I got one for like 40 bucks. So I've been, I've been taking that. And it's, um, so yeah, I, I just learned about it this year. And I, I'm pretty, I'm not huge. Like I'm, I'm big into health and wellness and stuff, but I just haven't done huge deep dives into research of other things that are out there. So it was even for someone like me, that's in this kind of sphere, I, I didn't even realize it existed. So I'm, I'm quite sure most of the population doesn't even know it exists, um, which is a shame because like you're, like you're stating all the benefits. It's just absolutely insane. Diabe like my dad has diabetes um, just from his diet. So it's type two. And mm -hmm. um, so like just hearing that it's like, I can just have him, try to try to take it he probably won't because the taste <laughs> even with it, with it being in water maybe but yeah. um but yeah it's it's fantastic um we, we are gonna have um tablets soon so you can just pop them right in and that should be within a month or so so nice. that'll, be, that'll be like our our final product which like you know the glycerin is very convenient but you still have to taste it so <laughs> the tablets you just people are pretty used to taking pills and also i was going to say um it can it can replace so many supplements that people are taking and not absorbing where this is like definitely going to absorb and has a ton of iron magnesium manganese zinc copper all these really powerful um minerals that people take separately and are in a form which usually they just pee out honestly so we at the health food store we would call it really expensive pee when, when people would buy like 20 bottles of supplements because they're not absorbing almost any of that and yeah it's just and sheila g also helps with the absorption of other things so um and the there's this ancient ayurvedic text called the charak samhita it was written about 500 to 1000 bc and it literally says that there's nothing Sheila G can't cure um, if given with the right dosage dosage and the right complementary herbs. And so for diabetes, it would um, really be beneficial to take like a little bit more than usual and also take some herbs. But like I've, I've helped my uncle with deal with his and there are clinical studies to where 
um, they have proven that the pancreas, if it still produces any insulin, it will help to, um, to, to basically regulate it. So it's really a cool. Name. Yeah, that's, that's just, it's just, it's just so awesome. And it's, um, and it's, it's so simple, just a, a simple pea size and you let it dilute and then you just drink it once a day. And it's not where you have to do a huge process. You have to take a bunch of it. And, and like for you guys, the I, I see the price as being very, very good. I got the second largest size and it was what, $35, maybe 40. And it's just, um, and, and my girlfriend, Lindsay, she got uh, like the smallest size. And even that, it, it looks like a, it's still a good amount. So, so for me, I'm excited to get it. And I was just talking to myself about it uh, when I was in the shower before getting on here. And I was thinking that, like, it's a great prepping item. So for people that are just like uh, kind of concerned where the world's going and they don't know maybe if the supply chains are going to continue to function properly, uh, I, I'm, I'm definitely looking, f I'm interested in getting some more of it and just being able to put in my backpack if I need it or whatever mm -hmm. else. And just, just securing that. Cause it's like, you're saying, it's such a long process for that to even be created. And, right. um, and it's only in specific parts of the world. It's not like it, you can't find it in every mountain, big mountain, right? Like you're saying, it's kind of like Asia, Russia. Right. So they, they have like found it in, um, in Argentina and Colorado. Um, but I, those mountains just aren't as old. Even the Himalayas, the Himalayan mountains are only 50 million years old. Whereas like the Altai Mountains, I believe are the oldest mountains where Shilajit comes from. They're one and a half to two billion years old. And to me, that just means that it's been it's been cooking longer. <laughs> you know, like it's it's been there. And even though the mountains aren't quite as tall as the Himalayas, I I feel like they might have been at one point, but it, they've been there for you know at least a hundred times longer. So it um yeah. But yeah. it does it can form in other places, but the, the Himalayas and the Altai Mountains are the main sources of, of where, where it has been known to form. Fantastic. Um, so, yeah, I got uh, two comments. And so uh, Skeptical Attorney says, hello, everyone. You're doing a great job. Godspeed. So thank you, Skeptical Attorney. Godspeed. I appreciate it. And then my my girlfriend, Lindsay, she's happens to be on here. Love Black Lotus Sheila Jeet. Hey, <laughs> and she, and she, she actually she actually uh, took a photo of uh of the product and she put it on her instagram and i think you guys actually took that too and we're like i think you guys posted it on your on your instagram which was she was very excited about that but uh <laughs> yeah she takes it every day and she, and she's talks she talks about it and, and we were just talking last night about um magnesium and i was trying to I, i've been looking for just magnesium a good quality magnesium and then you happen to of course mention that it has magnesium in it <laughs> so yes yes so it knowing that i definitely gotta take it yeah it doesn't have like crazy amounts but it does have enough to where it'll it'll definitely help. And also with the prepping, um, shilajit is like honey, where it doesn't technically expire or go bad since you know it's been just in the earth for millions of years. It's very very stable, and since we have it in the Myron glass, it, it'll stay good and, and basically indefinitely. So it's like a great like you could you know your great grandchildren could be taking a jar of shilajit we just packaged like yesterday. <laughs> No, that's that's it's just uh it's just really mind blowing and it's it's very exciting to uh to be able to have you on and to talk about this more and um yeah because I because I've been having uh I, I'm pretty sure I'm very toxic in terms of just my body accumulating heavy metals or whatever and um so like this is definitely something that uh I'm excited to continue to take because it's just um I've been having like like memory issues at times or, or brain fog at times, uh, sleep isn't that great. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so it's, it's just very exciting and I'm, I'm very happy to, uh, to have you on here. So I, I definitely want to just stress again, how much I appreciate it. Um, for sure. I appreciate you. And I, so those are three things I actually forgot to mention. Um, that really helps with brain fog memory. And, um, it's been clinically proven to actually, get heavy metals out of the brain, which almost nothing else could do. Um, so it helps. Um, there's like something called T tor aggregation, which heavy metals cause in the brain, which causes Alzheimer's and dementia. And so taking Sheila G really helps to reduce that inflammation or risk or degradation of the, the brain. And yeah, it really does help with with memory and brain fog. 
because you're getting those those minerals that your body needs in there. Oh, that's that's a godsend. Oh, it's <laughs> that's so fantastic. And um, all right, that makes me even more excited for it then. <laughs> to, to definitely uh, continue taking it. Um, I, I was going to, I want to skip ahead. Cause I remember you mentioned not too long ago about the customer testimonials. Yeah. So if you wanted to maybe just brand, uh, speak about some of the ones that really stood out to you and just maybe what the overall, uh, if, if, if some of them are, po most of them are positive or if there's some negative ones or whatever else, whatever you feel like discussing about that. Yeah. Yeah. We've, we've honestly never gotten a negative testimonial. Um, yeah, never. And that to me says a lot. Um, the only thing is people say it's like too sticky. It's too hard. You can't open it. Um, but yeah, as far as health wise, pretty much every single person has said it has helped them with their energy, um, with their hormones. Like some ladies have gotten off hormone medication, like a couple days after they start taking Sheila G, they feel fine. Helps with uh, menopause, especially. Um, with PMS symptoms, cramps. Um, for men, it really helps with building muscle, um, with with like actual like strength gains. And so people take it like before the gym um, to get you know to get more reps in. And it uh, yeah, like people have said, their hair came back black. Their hair started growing back. Um, people's digestion has really been improved. They say like, yeah, they always had like a pretty much, it was probably a, an ulcer what these people had, um, which Sheila G has been clinically studied to, to reduce ulcers in the stomach and intestines and kind of remineralize the, the lining and the, the cilia that, that go in the, in the digestive system. Um, yeah. And then, uh, Honestly, for me, like I do archery and if I take Sheila G before, like I'm so much more focused. Um, people have said, uh, yeah, definitely their memory is better. Um, yeah, mainly just energy, memory, hormones, digestion, uh, hair, skin and nails, like people's skin really helps. Um, people have said also with, with like addictions, so it can really help with alcoholism like any addiction to opiates or to, to weed or to to anything it really helps to diminish the cravings or the um like the come down or the you know, like the relapse um, rates and um yeah those those are the main things that people people say but just there's there's so many people have so many health issues that it's just kind of like it helps with everything so people just say it just helps them feel better focus work better um they feel happier their sleep is improved um yeah because it regulates the the melatonin you help like regulates your thyroid and pituitary gland and yeah it's, it also helps with like kidney stones um the gallbladder um yeah so <laughs> That's is all there, I can think of off the top of my head right now. Is there anything this thing can't do? It's it's <laughs> like when people say, oh, this is like a superfood or whatever with something else. I'm like, yeah, okay, I can see that because it's got all these benefits to it. But then this, it's like, geez, this is this is like a, I don't even know. It's like a super saiyan food. It's just, it's just crazy. It's, <laughs> it's all the different benefits. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. We're made up of 102 to 106 minerals and this has 85 minerals so it's kind of like a building block for but especially for our organs like our organs dictate our health essentially and if they don't have what they need especially the brain then you can't you can't function properly or you're gonna lack somewhere it's gonna leach from somewhere else and yeah it really helps a lot if wow <laughs> yeah all right i got another customer testimonial um <laughs> Uh, yeah, I made my mom try Sheila Jit, uh, Sheila Jeet, uh, because her stomach hurt and was so fatigued, but from house from her, or from being sick, and she was a new person. Pain went away, and she starting she started cleaning the whole house. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. So yeah, that's great. Thanks for your support, Lindsay. <laughs> yes, thank you, Lindsay. You're a rock star. Um, so for because like you were saying, it, it contains like 85 of the minerals. Yeah. Um, what are some good things to take alongside Sheila G? 
Um, I've heard cinnamon is good to take alongside shilajit um, because it kind of disperses the the um, the energy throughout your body. Um, that's what my herbalist uh, recommended. So for a while, I had kind of a it's called like false heat in your stomach. It's like a herbal thing, and so the shilajit was kind of since it's so uh, concentrated, it was making my stomach hotter. And so the cinnamon kind of helped disperse it. And so I, I recommend sometimes people take it with cinnamon just because it can help disperse. If you're taking more than re a regular amount, because I, I do take like pretty much a gram or two every day. And that's more than enough <laughs> for, for most people. And yeah, I just, I just have an abundance of it. So I, I, I take advantage and yeah. Um, they're also basically really, um, any other, uh, I recommend magnesium to take alongside it. Um, I just got this really good one. My friend Carly recommended it's called magnesium hydroxide, I believe. And you mix it with carbonated water to activate it and that's an excellent form of magnesium, probably the best form, or I would say the best form. And with the shilajit, it kind of um, helps drive it into the body. So yeah, and I wouldn't say like anything, it would have to, it would depend on the person, honestly, if they're taking like an herb for, for their hormones, like, or they're taking something for their immunity. It's just kind of going to help increase the efficacy, efficacy of it and the absorption of it. So I can't say like, we, I've thought of trying to make formulas like with our tinctures with different herbs, but what I've learned from, from studying herbalism is you, you don't want to give everyone the same herb, someone like for like to treat one issue with one herb is going to be different for each person essentially because some herbs are hot some are cold they're some are drying some are moisturizing and depending on your constitution um you may not want to to take that herb specifically so i kind of leave it open for people to take what they're already taking um and add the shilajit onto it to increase the absorption and efficacy um but i i like for me personally i take magnesium i take shilajit and I take uh, an herbal tincture, uh, which is formulated for me. And those are the only supplements that I take. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much for that description. I appreciate it. Yeah, because like the cinnamon, that will definitely help people that are kind of like add eh, to the taste also. So like if you put that in the water, maybe. Uh, so that's good to know. Yeah. And um, yeah, Lindsay also mentioned a different, uh, another type of ma uh, magnesium. Uh, Try Crucial 4 Magnesium Bicarbonate. So thank you for that, that's, Lindsay. That's the one I had. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, there you go. Yeah. And then uh, I, I, I'm i pretty sure I heard you say Carly. Uh, so <laughs> Lindsay's yes. Carly Bergman. So Lindsay actually personally knows Carly. Um, she was at like a Health Freedom for Humanity event in in uh, in Illinois. And she spoke. And then so they kind of met up. And so now, now they're basically really good friends. Um. And then, so here, she's got another question. Were you the one that got Carly her bow and arrow? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, because she, I just heard that she was getting into archery, and then I, it now it kind of it uh, brought it to me that you already said that you were into archery. So it's it's interesting. Yes. Yeah, so um, Carly is is um I've known her for about two years. We met at a permaculture convergence, and she was very interested in the shilaji and she's an affiliate for other companies. So she was our first affiliate for the Sheila G. And so she's been, she's been on our team for, for a while. And so I, I got her the bow to, to thank her for all her hard work. And um, yeah, she, she does a really great job of sharing it with her, with her audience. And yeah. Yeah. That's, that's fantastic. Um, so, so for, uh, I want to kind of get into like the whole COVID narrative. So for one thing, they're, they're saying it's all about like, this is, you got to do this for your health and we got to help everyone become healthy. So we're become immune to this or herd immunity. 
yada, yada, yada. But I haven't seen a single sort of public service announcement on the TV saying, hey, guys, uh, we got to start exercising. We got to start eating right. Get some fruits <laughs> and vegetables. Let's let's lower our fear. Let's lower our stress. Let's get some sunlight. Let's go barefoot in the grass and just sit there for 20 minutes. Like they're not, I haven't heard a single thing. Um, okay. And then another thing they haven't done a public service announcement on how to properly use a mask. They haven't, cause I, cause I, 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 um, I worked as a welder and I actually got certified in, in masks. So they tell you, they tell you to be clean shaven. So obviously you can't have the Zabalza beard. Um, <laughs> and otherwise it's going to create some space in between. So it's ineffective. Right. And so, so people are walking around with, with no, no true information on, on how to be healthy, how to, how to be, how to lower your stress, you know, and, and then how to even, even though it's not really protecting them in my view uh, with the mask, but they're not even wearing it properly. They're touching it and all that stuff. And like, you're supposed to dispose of it right away. So. Right. Most people so, reuse their mask. <laughs> and most people reuse their mask. Exactly. And so, um, so my big concern on this whole narrative is that they aren't focusing on the health and wellness prioritization. So um, I know one thing that really stuck out, obviously, is that you said it's an antiviral Sheila G. So, um, so, so for people that are worried about COVID and worried about getting sick and then worried about their immune system and they're thinking that this this shot's going to magically save them or this pill is going to magically save them. That's that's basically the the problem that we're at is that we're we're putting men above God or creation, whatever you want to call it. And we're taking their products that are patented and they're making a bunch of cash on instead of taking these natural things that for most people aren't completely oblivious to, they aren't even aware that these are out there. Right. And, and that's to our disadvantage. And so we're becoming even more unhealthy and it's not, it's not focusing on the root issue, the causal factor that's got us to this uh, sickness or disease or, or uh, brain fog, you know, like for me, it's, it might've been the vaccines from when I was a kid and all the things. And maybe it's just from my, me drinking tap water without realizing <laughs> how bad it was for all these years. Yeah. Um, so, Same. So uh, if you want to dive a little bit more into like the antiviral property of Shili Jeet uh, in particular, and then if you want to give a brief uh, description of what your mindset is in terms of this whole narrative that's being uh, developed around us. Absolutely. Um, I think it's the greatest business plan of all time, <laughs> essentially. Um, you know, the greatest as in most profitable um and like all encompassing <laughs> so it's i mean it's just you know it's just a it's just a drug cartel essentially like there's no difference between drug cartels and, and the medical cartels um they they bribe politicians they <laughs> they sell us drugs and they make the most money out of you know the rest of the planet pretty much so yeah it's just sad that so many people don't see it and um that yeah that they don't talk about how to properly wear a mask why you don't reuse a mask why they don't really do anything in the first place it says on the box that they don't they're not for viral infections um and yeah so it's it's <laughs> I, could, I could go off but um essentially i just i feel people are are scared you know most people don't have time to critically think they don't have the energy to critically think they don't have proper nutrition to to have the capacity and it's just they're just people are just being taken advantage of essentially and taking advantage of their their like sense of fear essentially fear makes you do drastic things where you don't critically think where you just act because you're scared and you go with you follow the crowd and you you try i mean i, I feel terrible for these people that trust these people in power which we should inherently be able to trust because they're in that position but it's that's not the case they're all i mean not all but they're mostly just corrupt people that are just in it for the money and so it's sad that so many people are are suffering because of it and how like you know i there's so many travel restrictions i can't see my family in spain like it's i hate to travel because of it and 
it's it's really unfortunate but yeah the the main thing for me is like if people just got outside if people just breathe fresh air swam in fresh water drink good spring water got you know got got on the ground got some sun on them started taking something like Sheila G or even just started eating less unhealthy things like people people know that it's not good for them but they just don't have the will to actually do anything different or sometimes even the money so people are are trapped in in their fear and their ideas and in their lifestyle and these leaders have have put them in this position unfortunately and yeah it's it's really sad i'm really grateful that i live in florida and that you know people you know even i don't agree with <laughs> with a lot of things but at least people really actually care about their freedom and yeah i you know i'm i can't say i, I mean i am against vaccines but i i support people's decisions um i i would never get it um i would i would never recommend it but i I don't mind if other people do. It's just when when it's being forced and you're really being discriminated against, then that's 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 beyond me. So that's why I'm really grateful to be in Florida because um, in California, like I couldn't go to inside the restaurants, and it was just it just made me laugh. Like I just made me laugh that there could be freaking like all kinds of you know convicts or these people that freely go wherever they want but because i'm unvaccinated i i have all these restrictions and it's tragic so yeah it's it's a whole just money scheme essentially in, in my in my view and yeah so i'm i'm really grateful to, to be able to share something like sheila g which kind of helps people to feel better overcome their fears a little bit maybe think more clearly um get their body what they what they what it needs to function i mean i got covid and i was i it wasn't that bad like it was i've had <laughs> i like i got sick over the summer in costa rica from mold and that was a hundred times worse than covid like actually i i i would never wish that on anybody and you know people have different reactions based on on their state of health and but i i really i don't see it as being as serious as as they make it out to be i really i really really don't um and sheila g it really helps with um Im immunity and the antiviral properties are mainly the the humic acid humic acid on isolated on its own has been shown to surround uh virus cells molecules um and essentially keep them from reproducing so that's one of the main aspects of sheila g which makes it um, an immune booster as well as the minerals like zinc and copper um, and iron which help to just stimulate the immune system um get the get the blood clean and healthy yeah that's so great thank you so much for your uh your view and all that stuff. I appreciate you describing yourself. Um, yeah, and I, I want to point out your business model because you just said you said earlier when uh, you went to uh, what was it like? Uh, was it like an expo or something where you had like a booth? Yeah, and yeah, it was a, yeah. And, and you said that for you, like even if they don't purchase anything, just the fact that they are there and having a conversation with you and a dialogue and at least getting more information for you, that's that's that in itself is is enough. And so it's a completely stark contrast to what these people are doing with their <laughs> business model, completely different business model. And um, I just want to really commend you for, for what you're doing and the mindset you have. And, and that's the thing. You're not, for, for my view of talking to you, it's not here. You're not here for, for the fiat currency. You know, you're not here for, for, for just some paper, piece of paper that really aren't worth anything in reality. You're focused on actually providing education and inspiration and just a new uh, avenue of research that people can look into because I myself wasn't even aware of it until earlier this year. So uh, a huge swath of the population definitely doesn't know about it. So it's just great that you have that motivation, you know, and it's the the genuine passion to really help out others, not just that self that self interest, but also like that the really that kind of community kind of mindset. And it, it's something that I definitely 
uh, uh, what is it? Resonate. It really resonates with me very much. So, and I definitely want to tell you how much I appreciate that you're, that you have that mindset and you're, that's just the way that you're trying to run your business as well. And it's just really excellent. So I want to thank you for that. Um, and, and I'm glad that you're in Florida. I'm glad you aren't suffering from the same kind of measures that we are here in Illinois. And hopefully it's not short lived in Florida and Texas. Hopefully we, they continue to stand up as much as I don't care about government because it's just another group of human beings. They don't have any more rights than us in reality. We're all created equal. So you can't give a right to coerce people to get a shot. If I can't coerce you to do something, how can they coerce us to do anything? So it's just, we don't even understand what our rights are from, for most people. And it's just really sad that we're putting all this authority into men that obviously have self-interest are most likely sociopaths or psychopaths <laughs> and big egomaniacs. And, and, and then like, and like you were saying with people with the, the lack of information and the lack of nutrition in order for their brain to function properly and all that stuff. And just the, the tap water, the fluoride, all these things that are totally working against us to make us not use both sides of our brain holistically to really mm -hmm. have a holistic thought process and to really unlock that pineal gland and really have a better understanding of how to, acquire the truth and how to kind of weed through a bunch of misinformation to find that truth and just the uh the truth discovery mechanisms that we can use and it's it's really sad that um that people are in that state of mind and then they're uh viciously attacking people that are not going along with the narrative like i just went to a protest last weekend people are flipping me off they're telling me to drop dead they're tell, tell me f you they're saying no conversation <laughs> just complete venom that they're just spitting out because mm -hmm. apparently i'm selfish yeah people call me selfish whatever and go get your shots jesus christ you're so selfish it's like and then one of the people that were there got assaulted from this one woman walking by and it's just it's just so sad like people are becoming <laughs> so divided and mm -hmm. it's and like you were saying people have the right to choose for themselves to do it or to not do it just like with anything else so it doesn't make it different just because we're in fear mode that our rights don't change based because based on a huge swath of the population being fearful. What right. really can help guide people into a better direction is providing truth and, and showing it in a very, uh, uh, uh what's it called? Uh, transparent way right. so that we can all have that same understanding. You know, it's like when you're, if you're a parent, you have a kid, you don't just say, do this because I said so. That's not how you gain any sort of respect from your child. It's, here, Billy, you want to do this because this, 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 this. If you have any questions, I'll kind of delve into it more. So you have an understanding and then you can feel like you're making that choice because you have enough information to do that and you're confident in it. So it's like we're treating they're treating us like we're kids. They're treating us like they own us, which yeah. at, and for all intents and purposes, they kind of are at this point. Um, and they're just able to mandate stuff. And it's just it's just a really sad state of affairs. And hopefully uh, things start improving and people start waking up to what's going on and um yeah, that basically covers everything I wanted to, to talk with you uh, at this moment. Um, I know we're almost at the hour mark, so you won't, we want to keep it a little bit under that. So um, if uh, you had anything, any last words you wanted to say, and then also if you want to just tell people where they can find you and um, things to, that they can look for in the coming weeks and months. Yeah, man. With your company. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah, I just, I'll, my message is always, you know, turn make yourself your own authority and only listen to to God and to what you you feel in your heart and to not give in to the fear you know because it, it is they make it very scary on purpose they spend billions of dollars to to try to manipulate us and prop, propaganda and you know advertisements and it's it's like if you look around every everyone that I know is is good and people are just living their life they're happy and we're free so we can we we can we can make our own life and make our own decisions and yes i agree <laughs> here is the mind kill and yeah so um you can find us at uh, blacklotus.health um for for our shilajit and february 2nd we are launching our new website super excited and we will have tablets soon so it will be even easier for everyone to take shilajit and they will be just raw shilajit nothing else nothing else added and you can find us on instagram at black lotus shilajit 
Um, my Instagram is Earth Titan Eleven. If you want to follow me, and yeah, I really appreciate you having having you me on, man, and appreciate the platform to share. Happy to be here, and yeah. Man. Okay. Yeah. Not a problem at all. I, I really appreciate it. And same goes for you. I, I appreciate it so much that you uh, were interested in coming on in the first place and uh, you're very uh, communicative with me and um, I'm glad we were able to set this up and it, it really means a lot. And, um, and so for your, your normal Instagram, your per, is that your personal Instagram that you mentioned the Titan? Yeah. Earth Titan okay. 11 is my All right. So I'm, I'm going to find that. And then I'll also have that in the description because I already have your, your company's Instagram and your website. So I'll, I'll add that as well. So people can find you personally as well. So, um, yeah, thank you so much, Nico truly means a lot to me. And I, um, I'm so glad that you created this company and you had the, like, you know, the drive and the willpower to do this and you're continuing to do it. And I uh, just wish you the, the best success going forward and, uh, hope you don't get the jab. Don't let them coerce you into doing it. Don't get any, try not to get any tests, try not to fall for any of this stuff. And, uh, not just, this guy. <laughs> yeah, not the, fantastic. I'm, I'm so happy to hear it. So, uh, just please stay safe and, uh, I wish you the best of luck. God bless, man. God bless, man. Thank you so much. Appreciate you, man. And keep doing what you're doing. I will. I certainly will. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.